paragliding and drops on the North Korean side and crashes into arms of North Korea's special force. There is like no advertisement. All they got on the street is about the dear leader, how you have to be royal, how you have to be faithful to the leader. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this long due video that so many of you asked me about. That is exactly crash landing on you. What North Korean think of that show? So some of you might not understand what this is. So this is a South Korean TV show that aired on Netflix um, this year, definitely this year. And it is about a fashion entrepreneur, very rich, sophisticated lady from South Korea, one day paragliding and drops on the North Korean side and crashes into arms of North Korea's special force, a handsome soldier's arm. And with something many, many, many things happen, they fall in love. But think happily after after that. But there's so much journey for them to go through because she lands in North Korea and they depict you know this scenario of how she survives and how she navigates her love with this in a North Korean soldier who is supposed. I mean, in the show, he's definitely handsome and sweet, <laughs> and that really viewed by a lot of people. And including me, I couldn't wait whenever the new episode come out. I really watched it from one to the end. So here's my view on it. I think I'm going to talk about the good things first. Always goods first. So their description about the black market, how North Koreans are so involved in the black market. They are finding these like South Korean cosmetics and we're just like um, you know in North Korea like you know of course we cannot like find a shampoo in North Korean made maybe nowadays the elite can but not general population can afford it but if you go to black market you definitely can buy this like body wash like shampoo and soap and candles all those things and she demands from this North Korean soldier that she landed on and then you know he goes there buy her clothes and things and that was really accurate you know how it was something center of a thing for North Koreans and the other thing also that I thought was accurate was you know how the house and the town was designed those like kids in the morning wake up and we sing these songs and march together like you know like the bright future of our motherland like <laughs> that kind of songs i had to literally like i think it was 7 a.m my friends like knock the door my class comes and we like stop in different like households and get them out and we like because we are completely collectivism as i said before individualism it's bad. It's like the worst thing you can be in North Korea. So even going to school, you just don't go like you know all time. You have to go with your friends. So they literally come and knock on your door and then like go out. Like, you do my you know the communist symbol, just like uniforms from school. And I I march like this and singing songs as loud as possible. And all of my schoolmates and go go to school like that. And that is really accurate and all those like, you know, posters and signs, right? There is like no advertisement. All they got on the street is about the dear leader, how you have to be royal, how you have to be faithful to the leader, all like that. So that's pretty accurate. They did a really good job of it. And also, you know, all these houses got a portrait of the leaders, right? Those things are so right. And also these houses sometimes using you know South Korean rice cooker and this like people come check on your door and see if you got those and you try to hide it if you get caught you bribe them you know bribery is the almost the only way you to survive in North Korea so bribery is like something very common thing that we do you know going to doctor we have to bribe going to like 
getting a travel permit you have to bribe, going into school you have to bribe, I mean bribe, everything requires bribery in North Korea. And I thought another thing I thought was very good was their dress, how people dressed. Of course, I mean these like South Korean actors were dressed a bit more stylish than what North Koreans would, but in general, other than the exact few figures, how they put those people dressed up, it was very, you know, like all wearing those badges and like nothing very like skinny and showing your body very plain. Not to mention what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I mean, if you somewhere okay, right now, draw me in the middle of North Korea. I'm like right there going into prison camp and execution fire squad right now, like looking like this. And so I thought that was pretty good. And the other thing I thought was pretty good also is that, you know, how like this, uh, your, I mean, I don't know, like in Minbanjang is like something you're, so in every town, there's someone like char charge you and make sure nobody like outside of guests live in your house so when i heard in america like kids do a lot of sleepovers <laughs> and i was so confused like what is sleepover in north korea you cannot like just sleep over in somebody's ass. house if you do you have to go and found that some that town's like head person and tell them and go to police station and register your name to tell them who you are if they approve then you can stay over so it's such a hard process to do that so nobody like stays over thing in North Korea and some people do it but it's definitely illegal and in that show they get caught by doing that right she stays at his house and they come and like who are you you should not be in this house you're a stranger so you know I thought they did a really good job of showing that even those details that people think you know would not understand here and another thing was very good was you know I mean the scary the women's emotions right <laughs> and those his emotions it was almost impossible love for them to make to happen and that was really you know accurate like she's like how on earth am I dropped in like North Korea this gotta be a dream like I need to wake up from this and like I completely better like imagine that if you ever like one day walk up in your dream I mean, like in your real life you're up in North Korea you know you might never want to wake up if that's the case and at least not me I don't ever want to wake up right now in current North Korea and she really did that war but now I'm going to talk about the other sides of the goodness I mean I completely understand it was a dramatized version of the show for sure and so I understand the limitations of it to describing the whole thing and the show is supposed to be romantic and very humanizing the whole subject, right? Because people here have no clue how North Korea works, you know, this main character, man, Lee jong Hyuk, he's supposed to be number third most powerful, maybe number second most powerful person in North Korea and his only son. So of course in his house he had rice, he had sea fish, like you know, those like sea fish they do, like meat they do, and he didn't have lap things, he had a car to drive, all those things. So you know, if you understand fully that how privileged he was, like his father was next privileged next to Kim Jong-un, how they you know describe his lifestyle makes sense. But some people do understand, like, think that's like a normal North Korean's lifestyle. And that is not even like, I never knew, like, you know, even in North Korea, those elite people go to Geneva, you know, go to Switzerland to study. I never knew that. So, you know, even that the things that you see, North Korean themselves even don't know those special top few, like, not even few percent, like, top point 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 something percent people do so that could actually possibly like mislead people and completely blur and you know cover up the reality of North Korean people's misery you know if you when you like look at the show it almost can kind of give you feeling of romanticism about the whole idea of North Korea and <laughs> that is like not even 
you like romanticism is not even in the dictionary of North Korea that like no one can be romantic in North Korea there's no word for romance and that's how this country is absolutely like dedicated everything every soul every life every resource they have to this crazy Kim dynasty Kim dictators so that was sad and the other thing also was you know I think I mean that is a good that you know it was not a political show it's supposed not to give you any political message or any of that but you know at the end Izonia goes like Switzerland and meets her there and they like live ever happy after but that was something so irrelevant to North Koreans like no one can ever do that so you know you're almost like looking at some someone's idealized North Korea not actually North Korea you know they were talking about or like describing the show but you know like I think they still did a pretty good job describing all those details and restrictions and so many minor things I think it's a worth the show to watch but you also have to remember it is not like real North Korea at all it is definitely dramatized version of North Korea but it's definitely entertaining and fun so you know I do give my thumbs up it's a good show uh, I have no problem humanizing North Korea that's what I'm trying to do you know I also want people to understand like by talking about concentration camps by talking about oppression it's not dehumanizing them we are talking about the facts so you know it's the more contents about North Korea comes out that means you know more people are aware of North Korea and I'm such a, you know I'm such a big fan of this new trend where you know movies in America you know talk about parts of North Korea and South Korea as well so I hope next time when the cross ending on you something like that comes out and I'm sure I will be the first one to watch it so thank you guys for asking you know so many questions about cross landing on you and I will do a Q&A on that topic because you know uh, I, I'm sure you have a lot of individual questions about the show but today's my video was just general answer to the show and I will schedule that course soon so we can have a fun on this you know cool show so bye guys stay safe and see you next time bye